Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacRig Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer, and I'm here once again with Steve Martin. Hey, Mark. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome. Glad to be here. Great. And what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about bringing in vector-based art into Final Cut Pro. Vector-based art? Vector-based. Okay. What I mean is um, artwork that you get from Illustrator EPS that are defined by math instead of pixels. So okay. uh, most... Most of the artwork, in fact, all the artwork that Final Cut Pro can deal with is bitmap. It'll only deal with pixel-based um, content. Okay. But a lot of people use Illustrator files in their artwork, and so okay. how do you deal with that? So any illustrations that were created with Illustrator Correct. is going to be vector-based. And yeah, so not only how to bring it into Final Cut, but how to change the coloring if, you, if you've never even used Illustrator. So this is yeah. my down and dirty, here's how to, how to mess with an Illustrator file and get what you want. Even if you've never even dealt if, with Illustrator at all. Exactly. Great, let's see how it all works. Right. Before we get into that, I really want to talk about um, one of my favorite sites in the whole world. World, which is iStockPhoto.com. Sure. Um, the reason I think this is an amazing site is that they have just tons of content, and not, and not you know amateur content. These are professional people creating stuff, oh, yeah. literally all over the world. And I use a lot of illustrations in my in my tutorials and my productions. And so here you can you just got, look at this. They have photos, illustrations, flash, video, yeah, and they even grown. audio now. It's that, grown because like we, we've used iStock Photo for years. Been, yeah, well, used to, yeah right? absolutely. And I've been using it since 2003. Grown. That's how long I've been using it. Right. So. Um, they even add a new category co co for, for audio. audio. So what I'm going to okay. do is, I mean, you just like check, uncheck the thing. So you can uncheck, say, I want to look for just illustrations. Just illustrations. And then you yeah. can just type in here, uh, sports, let's say. And uh, you just click search. And of course, it, it's a fantastic search engine. And it'll bring up all the illustrations related to sports. Uh, of which there are probably about, here, 17,131. Yeah. OK, so let's go through and leak, look at each one of these. Yeah, let's we? do that. That'll, be, that'll make an excellent <laughs> show. OK, yeah. That's the one thing, is I get sucked in, I end up spending hours just going through and I know. Looking at all this stuff because and the quality is really um, stupendous. It is. It is fantastic. So speaking of which, um, I did download a, a piece of artwork, an Illustrator artwork for okay. for purposes of this demo. So I'm going to go ahead and close it, and I'm going to uh, go over to AI, okay. not for artificial intelligence, <laughs> but uh, Illustrator here. Here's a here's a nice you know graphic. It's illustr It's a vector based, and, and one way you can tell it's vector if you click on it. Vector based art is defined by actual data, all mathematical these, all data. These lines, yeah. All these lines. See that? Okay. And again, Final Cut doesn't deal with that. And also, with with artwork, you know, they're not designing for video per se. They're designing for print, magazines, and so right. they're, it's not necessarily a video friendly uh, format. Got it. So that that's the first thing you want to do is, is get this video friendly. So what I'm going to do is click outside the artwork. Okay. Then so I'm everything's gonna, deselected. Everything's deselected, uh -huh. and I'm going to go to Document Setup. Okay. Okay. And you'll notice here, uh, they're saying the button has edit artboards. Now, what is an artboard? Well, if you look at the outer edges, you'll see that black line? Sure. The artboard, basically, in Illustrator speak, is the outer boundaries that define the printing area. So what would be printed if you printed on a card and everything else would be would be, It would be the bleed, bleed right, exactly. Okay. A card, yeah. magazine, whatever. So that would be the actual pr act printable area. Okay. Well, in video, there's no printable area, per se, but they still use the somewhat terminology, okay. the same terminology. Now, I can go to this edit artboards, okay? And now, I could, I could edit this if I want. But why? There's a preset pop-up that has video-friendly oh, things right oh, here. Look, great. Isn't that All amazing? These formats, right? Yeah. So look at this. DV and TSC. I'm gonna just go ahead and choose that. And basically, it was already set up. Well, now. it moved a little bit, right? Like, yeah. But here's the cool thing. A lot of people know. I, I discovered this myself. Is if you click this little arrow right here, you know, it says show video safe areas, and then you click this button. Beautiful. You get. Title and safe. Yeah, title actually, and actually safe, and actually it's been drawn. It's, you're perfectly within, uh, within yep. title safe. There. Perfectly, and uh -huh. you absolutely need to do this if you're pre preparing stuff for video. Right. So this is this is huge. Now the other thing would be, I'm going to go ahead and click the selection arrow. Is I'm going to now recolor this. I don't like the purple. Let's say I want to, you know, orange sunset or whatever. Um, you could either select everything. Or you could select a, a layer or a mountain, or in this case, a horse. I want to. I just want to recolor the background. So, okay. the, so I'm going to notice select sky. Uh -huh. And then there's a little icon right here. This is pretty. It's called recolor artwork. Aha! Uh -huh. so click this okay. little button, and a little window comes up. I love tool tips. Oh, this is this is great. Yeah, so now I click uh, the edit. I like this wheel because you, you can see that that particular background has a has a tri gradient. It's got right. it's I mean, not three, three colors and yeah. sort of close to each other. Okay. Yeah, you can see there's a light purple, a darker purple, right. and an even darker purple. Right. But it's like I said, I, I really want maybe an orangey, orangey sky. Well, that's what these these circles are for. So what I'm going to do is just grab this lighter circle. I'm just going to drag it around here to there. 
Ah, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then, and then let's say I wanted maybe like the top be, be more like it's more like a dusk, so I could just maybe move these towards blue at the top or okay. whatever. You know, and then I could play with the brightness sliders down here. I could Dark really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I could, I can. I'm essentially recoloring the art with, without right. really knowing anything about Illustrator. Right. It's pretty great. It is. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and then I'm going to file and I'll choose uh, Save As, and. Um, by default, it says it in Illustrator, but in Final Cut, you, you can't save it in Illustrator because Final Cut Pro doesn't it, know what to do. It won't import. It won't, won't be able import. to see that. Okay. Right. So what you're going to want to do is choose a a format that Final Cut Pro is beholden Happy to. With. Yeah. So uh -huh. in this case, we'll see Adobe PDF. PDF all right. And um, notice that PDF extension. I click Save. Do you need to worry about CMYK or RGB? It's already. Or? This one was already. I, you, there is this pop up. It was. It just so happened I already had this in RGB. RGB but you okay. wanted an RGB. You wanted an RGB. Exactly. Okay. Now you know. I just use the defaults here, um, but I just, you know, there's there's other options, but we're, we don't have time for that. So we'll go save, save PDF. PDF. And notice it's saved on the de desktop here. It says Home on the Range PDF. Yep. So what I'm going to do is go into Final Cut and uh, click on the browser, choose Import File, uh, navigate to that PDF file, which should be right on the desktop here. Okay. Click Choose. And just so you see, Final Cut is very friendly with this file. Um, I can just drag it right in here. Actually, oop, oop, it doesn't match my sequence because <laughs> the D thing different is sequence different settings. sequence, yeah. right? So I probably what I'd want to do is um, is change the sequence settings to match. In this okay. case, because you won't get auto conform unless you're using video. Unless you're using video, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so just, just, just for the purposes of this demo, um, yeah, let me just throw it in there, even though sure. I know it's wrong. And uh, you can see there, there's 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 my Illustrator artwork now in Final yep. Cut. Now let's say I needed to make a change to it. Mm -hmm. All I need to do is select the clip, right click on it, and choose. Uh, I'm not going to choose open an editor because right now it's a PDF. It's a PDF. It'll, it'll open up in preview. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm the default editor. Exactly. For, that's the default editor. For PDFs. So right. I'm just going to choose reveal and finder. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take that and just drop it uh, icon back on, on Illustrator. Illustrator. Right. Now, this is the uh, PDF. This should be the PDF version. How can we verify? Uh, oh, right there. You see the name so, right, right in the title. There. Yep. Now, the neat thing about when you save. Uh, P, uh, Illustrator is PDF. You still, it's still editable. Okay. So you can like. I so can even though it's a PDF, it's you can still go and do all the stuff that you were doing as an Illustrator file. Absolutely. Wow. So I'm going to select the background. Go ahead and click this, and uh, I'm going to go to Edit and just you know I'm going to make some change. Ooh, that's a nice, cool sunset. Yeah, a little pink or sunset. Pink sunset. Yeah, so I'm going to click Great. OK. I'm going to go up to here. Choose Save. Just save it. And I'm going to now toggle back to Final Cut Pro. And you have to go bring it back into Final Cut I don't again? need to bring it back. It's all, Remember, because it's linking to okay. it. Now, it's now all Final Cut's going to do is link to the saved Boom. version, and there yeah. it is. It does a quick little media offline, and it says, oh, it's it's updated, and, yeah. and your changes are I mean, look right at there. that. And it's actually video resolution, too. Yep. It's it's amazing. In fact, if you if you right-click on it and hit Command, if you go, you know, the, click on the... Get the item properties. And hit Command 9. Um, Actually, ne never mind well, it's about DV widescreen. Yeah, you did with DV widescreen, so it's a, it's got the widescreen. Yeah, uh, the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You just rescued wow. me from that one. Thank you very much, Mark. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So anyway, that's the Final Cut Pro Illustrator workflow, and I Fantastic. think it's really powerful. So a great way to take advantage of um, vector artwork in iStock Photo and be able to use it in Final Cut. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Great. So where can people learn more or find out more about your uh, Final, Final Cut, Cut Pro, Pro training? Core training, rippletraining.com. And uh, we have a lot of stuff coming in the future. Uh, new te We're creating new uh, motion templates and uh, a lot of great stuff. Good. Steve, thanks. Thanks, Mark. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.